Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Michaela and today I'm vlogging. Um, it is currently five o'clock on a Monday afternoon. Today was actually like one of the longest Mondays ever. Like all me and my coworkers were like, what is happening? This is so long of a day. But anyways, I have been literally running errands. I had to go to Target, had to go to Kroger, had to go to FedEx. I originally went to the post office to return something and they were like, no, you have to do it through FedEx. And I was like, okay. So I have been all over the world today. And now, so in the last vlog, if you haven't watched it, go click out of here and watch it. But you have seen the fiasco that was the washer and dryer. I left that vlog very, very frustrated. But today is a new day. We're gonna get it uh, situated, maybe. Um, this will be the second time Derek has had to go to um, Lowe's today. Um, yeah, so that's where he's at right now. We're gonna try to see if we can get this bad boy hooked up. I'm actually about to make a really good dinner. Yesterday I was gonna make a really good dinner cause like Sunday after lunch and he was like, I want ham, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, Kroger click list didn't get finished in time. So I'm actually about to get the ham going. Why are we making all the ham for ourselves? Really no reason at all. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Last time that I made this ham was on Easter and funny story, the instructions were unclear and I put aluminum foil in there on broil and basically essentially almost set my house on fire. And we had to worst air, smell ever. We had to air out the back door and the front door because I almost burnt down my house. I wanted to put my shoes right here because I kind of already have them down here, but this will not shut with it. And super frustrating. So I guess I'm gonna have to get a shoe rack like I originally thought. But it's convenient because it's right by the door. Grab your shoes, leave. In case anybody was wondering about the state of the Room of Doom, it's still very Doom. So I was gonna at least put my like shoes up, but that's not gonna happen. One day I'm gonna like drink a Celsius and just like get to it, but that day is just not today, I don't think. Also, I want this Alex drawer to go into I want it to go under there. I think it'll finally fit under my desk. And then I also have this that was a nightstand. So I'm trying to just find some storage for over here. This also is a hot mess, so what is new? Um, so apparently my oven decided she doesn't want to turn back on. So we're air frying a ham. Stay tuned. He told me that I can't air fry a ham. It's not the best idea. Well, you don't know that. Okay. Um, also, if I had any tip for anyone buying a house, buy a house with a lot well, buy a house with a washer and dryer already in it and already hooked up and ready to go because this is horrendous and i'm not even doing anything I'm literally sitting on the couch while they do this so who is doing laundry right now guess who's doing laundry it's me oh i am so freaking happy right now <laughs> all right so it is the next day as you can tell it's roughly around 6 45 we are standardized testing this week so the academics are kind of low because i like to let my kids just relax after those um because they work really hard so I need to get Wednesday folders done, but instead I'm gonna start working on organizing stuff for the scrapbooks. If you didn't watch my last vlog, or maybe it was the vlog before that, um, I showed you guys um, that I bought a 22 binders and we are going to go through them together. Last year I was in quarantine, like I explained, and I print off like 400 pictures and organized the binders myself. 
and that took me a very long time so now that we're in school together um kind of as the year closes we'll have a little bit more free time i have the boxes right here filled with binders and i'm gonna actually um these are from my one of my team teachers on my grade level um but i'm just borrowing them so i'm gonna put the girls binders in here and then the guys binders in here that way whenever we like work or when we're just like sliding back in it's not 21 binders it's just um you you know girls and boys and so I'm actually gonna put a little tab you'll see for their number so it'll be easier for each person to just grab so yeah I'm about to start organizing them I need to see how many girls and boys I have I actually don't know that right off the top of my head does that mean a bad teacher I don't know Alright, so I have amazing parents and they sent in snacks for every day after we get finished. So I just went ahead and filled it up. There's all kinds of drinks in here. So I just got this ready so that whenever we're finished I can just grab it and they can come pick out whatever they want. Alright, so I just put it on top of the iPad car. Also, y'all, just take a minute for these nails. I freaking love them. Um, anyways, so I put them on top of here, boys, girls. I'm gonna print off the, like, Happy Camper scrapbook page um, on Astro Brights. Just can't get around to it this morning. So yeah, that's how that's gonna work. In my mailbox today, I got the um, April um scholastic news magazines i definitely recommend these i had them at my old school when i did fourth grade so i wanted to order them when i came here for third the kids really like them and on the back there's like 10 comprehension questions so if i need a grade i can always do that but mostly we just go through it you can go online and like watch the videos or whatever that go with it um so we will put this away for possibly thursday and friday maybe next week all right so i'm gonna stop get my life together sharpen pencils um etc so i will talk to you guys later don't know if i'll still be at school when i talk to you guys or if i'm at home so all right, just got home. This is the final piece that needed to come in for my complete room makeover. Also, I got some prints that I'll have to like open up and show you guys, but I'm gonna frame those. So I actually think that I may head to Michael's in just a second. I'm gonna get started on folding laundry because I can. And that is freaking glorious. I'm literally pulling things out of my dryer, like my dryer. It's here, I can touch it. I can wash clothes. And also the dishwasher can be unloaded. All right, just got back from Target. You may be thinking, Michaela, you go to Target every single day. You're right, guilty. The Target is literally like three minutes from my house. It's, I just, I have to go sometimes. Anyways, my dog decided to come in and um, bring mud onto my new carpet. Um, so I had to go get some carpet stuff and then I also went to Michael's because I told you guys that I got those prints and I think there's six of them in there but I'm only gonna use four I think. I actually think I'm gonna like completely take back everything I said and like did about my room layout floor plan thing um, because I've decided that I want it turned a different way. So I'm gonna see if Derek will help me redo everything because that's just who I am as a person um but yeah it's five o'clock right now I think I'm gonna do another little laundry because I can um and then mess with the prints I need to vacuum so I can put this rug stuff down because you have to vacuum first so yeah Right, I'm cooking dinner now, but I also just got done printing off my teacher portfolio. So I started looking at it because there's some teacher candidates at our school. And so they wanted to see mine and I was like, well, I might as well update it. So if you are interested, I don't want to like share too much because it like says some of my personal stuff. But if you are interested in how to make a teacher portfolio, I am not a genius by any means, but I do think it looks pretty aesthetically pleasing. So. Well, 